everyone, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to X or the Plague, XP Kage, back to you guys another video, and I really do apologize for this video being late guys, I really do, um, I also apologize for that light, this camera is still messed up, and to be honest, this camera looks, I feel like it looks kind of better than my desktop camera, I don't know, uh, because the way I look at it, the graphic wise, this camera is better, but um, yeah, I might go back to my PlayStation camera. I don't know. I don't have to, I don't have a setup for my skit camera. I don't have a um, stand for it, or else I would use that to record. But I don't have a stand, so when I do get a stand, I will most likely use that to record instead of this camera or my PlayStation camera. So I'm sorry for that. And like I said, no mic. So the best thing I got for new equipment is basically this laptop, the Elgato, and this um adapter for my macbook which is already plugged in so i can't show you the adapter um a lot of money on equipment and not all the equipment came i got my table but i traded it from uh, traded it for my brothers because my brother's table is better and it's something i nearly needed got a chair no screws still no screws i'm gonna call the company back again but no wasting your time if you're new to the channel subscribe uh to you know Get all the latest information, all the latest good content that I try to provide on the channel for you guys, the Plague Squad. And um press the notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. Also follow me on Instagram and Twitter as I do post notifications on there as well. And follow my Discord as my Twitter goes to my Discord, so notifications go to my Discord as well. So you'll get four different types of notifications if you press the notification bell, follow me on Instagram, Twitch, I mean Twitter, and join my Discord. Also follow me on Twitch too, because I'll, I'll be streaming eventually on twitch just do it for the heck of it i don't know why i still say twitch because i've never streamed on twitch but go follow me on twitch <laughs> but um yeah um this manga chapter wasn't the greatest it really wasn't i read it i'm unsatisfied i'm left with, i'm definitely left with wanting more after the end but I'm definitely unsatisfied. This is a review, and I'm not even going to show common parts because there's no reason to. Because this, this is literally can be summarized in like a short paragraph. That's how short this chapter felt. Uh, well, how little it felt. So basically, we have Kawaki, and you know, Kawaki was teleported there in the last chapter, and basically, you know, it's. Sorry, big speed gets really annoying. I don't know why she keeps on talking. But um basically Kawaki is trying to avoid uh Ishiki. At this point, Ishiki only has five minutes left of his life until his life is over. And so Yeah, so this entire time Ishiki is basically trying to plant karma into Kawaki. Kawaki saying you so you're trying to plant karma into me. And Naruto's like, run Kawaki, run, and um yeah, Ishiki literally stomps the bargain mode, or baryun mode, whatever you want to call it, out of Naruto. He literally stomps him so bad, he drops from that form. And guess what? Naruto is not dead. So I don't know how this is going to affect. Maybe Kuruma's dead. Who knows? Or maybe since of that fact, I don't know. None of them, no one's dead. I think this is going to be a plot hole. And, um, I don't know. So, so Ishiki grabs... Kawaki, the great ready hit him with karma, saying, "Yeah, this is unavoidable. This is your destiny." And so basically, like this, like, this is what you're meant for. I think that's a little later on. Um, but we do go back to the the Hokage's office with Shikamaru, Amato, uh, Sumire, the scientist dude. And he's like, "They're like, yo, what happened?" He's like, "Yeah, we're definitely screwed." <laughs> the uh, Amato is like, "Just yeah, we're definitely screwed." And that's basically the point that happened was there. And um, we go back to the battlefield. Sasuke uses um, Renegon to trade places with uh, Kawaki. You know, of course, Sasuke gets you know punched to the ground again. Sasuke being used like a rag doll. It's like the umpteen time Sasuke's gotten his butt handed to him in this chapter. Well, not in this chapter, but this manga in general. This latest arc in the manga. So, and there's apparently something next to Kawaki's feet. He said, Sasuke said, pick that up, throw it. He throws it. And uh, apparently it's a smoke bomb. And Ishiki's like, hey, yo, this smoke bomb's no match for the Byakugan. And the, um, 
and he's like this thing has a certain it has a certain substance to it so where people with ocular jutsu cannot see into it and it lasts about a few minutes which is as much as they needed and he's like run run and he's like keep on running you're not gonna hide or something like that and then he uh, goes to he said you want to play that game so he goes to well he tries to find him in the smoke I think and then he just goes to Naruto stomps on Naruto and say you got five seconds to get out here before you lose your beloved Hokage and then Kabuki has flashbacks of basically Naruto taking him in saying hey Naruto's like hey you remind me of me as a kid that's why you know I want to take you in or something like that and he's like can you teach me ninjutsu he's like okay well then well then okay or something like that and it was pretty pretty short flashback but it was a flashback of him uh having his bomb with Naruto and then Right when he gets to one, uh, Kawaki shows up, and Naruto and uh, Sasuke's like that stupid idiot, <laughs> something like that. And then um, we get to, what does he say? That stupid idiot. So I'm trying to remember. And then yeah, he's like, the world without the Hokage, with the without Lord Seventh is not a world to live in to me. He's like basically like the world is nothing without Naruto, is what he's saying. And so he was gonna, wasn't going to let Ishiki uh, kill him. Ishiki gets up to him. He said, Naruto taught him a lot of things. He took him in. He raised him. And he said, he and, he, and uh, Ishiki's like, so he gave you love. He gave you that arm, which led you towards me. And he gave you love that made you give yourself up to me. Like, he gave him affection that made him want to sacrifice his life for Naruto. And he's saying, he said, he's a no wife without Naruto is trash. He said he'd rather die than have Naruto die. And then so, and it, he's like, he doesn't want to be a vessel though either. So, you know, he's a Naruto, taught him a lot of things, ninjutsu and stuff like that. He tries to use ninjutsu on Ishiki, doesn't work. Ishiki grabs onto him and it looks like Ishiki actually implants karma into him, which then he's like, yo, so I only have like three seconds left. Oh, it looks like I'm done dying, but it looks like I can sleep well, resting well, knowing that you're about to be my vessel. Telling him during the time that, that it was unavoidable and that was his destiny and that what he was made for. And then his karma starts to disappear his karma does disappear as Ishiki's dying and he's like yo what the heck's going on here and apparently he learned shadow clone jutsu or shadow something jutsu it was a different shadow but it wasn't shadow clone jutsu but whatever it was a, it was a jutsu that allowed him to clone himself and basically it was a doppelganger and so he used the to have the guard doppelganger take the karma so it wasn't really physically placed on him so the karma does not exist and Ishiki is about to die without placing a karma so Ishiki's done for Ishiki's literally dead he died and well he died yeah he did die and then that happened and then Kawaki uh, came to Naruto and he's like yo you're right and he's like yeah he's Naruto's like nice trick he's like okay yeah but I could barely make them one I'm actually glad it actually worked so apparently he didn't even know it was going to work even and uh, Naruto says, Sasuke, are you going to, uh, are you okay? You got beat up a lot, which he did get beat up a lot. And he's like, hey, I'm talking more worried about that power you ex you experienced. And um, you did, didn't you take some kind of like, basically asked him if he took some kind of risk using it. And Kawaki said, spit it out. And then we have Boruto coming in with a kunai stabbing my nigga Sasuke in the Renegon eye with it taking out the Renegon eye. And <laughs> Naruto's like, Boruto? And when we got Momoshiki returning, which is Boroshiki, that's how we're saying it, I guess. And that was very, very, very exciting. And he's like, yo, you guys actually were able to take out Ishiki. I didn't think it was going to happen, but oh well. And he's like, now all that's left is you pathetic worms. So Momoshiki's in charge now. So, and that's where we end this chapter. And What's the saddest part? Not the saddest part, but the um, little saddest part. Yeah, Sasuke lost his Renegon, which is one of his best qualities right now. He has a strong gun, so. But he has no. He only has a strong gun now. And then Monkey, Monkey Go. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm sorry, but he has that strong gun, and yeah, now he's missing an arm and missing an eye. Sasuke. Hope he gets another Renegon because that's really the best. That's basically. I like to say 60-75% of his power was in that Renegon, and now it's gone. <laughs> Whew, so now we gotta know what's gonna happen to 
Momoshiki in the next chapter. Like I said, that chapter was kind of explainable. I really didn't have to add comic parts into it. I'm not going to because that's kind of boring. Just going to add comic parts of you watching some person standing in smoke or people talking. That's kind of not the best. And you can imagine Sasuke's eye. I might include the one comic part of Sasuke's eye. That's the basically probably it of Boruto stabbing Sasuke in the eye. I might add that part. I might not. But, um, the weirdest part of this situation is then where does Kawaki get his karma from when he's facing Boruto in the beginning of Boruto? Because you know he has karma. And as we just saw in that trailer, he has karma there. No, 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 never mind. That's that's when they first meet. That's not, that's not, sorry, sorry. Wrong thing, wrong thing. That's, that's, that's way, that's way before where we are right now. Because the anime is way way behind the manga right now um so or as we see in the beginning of Boruto the very beginning of Boruto and the beginning of the manga Kawaki has his, his uh, Kawaki has karma when he's facing Boruto and deals with apparently Lord Seven though people think he kills Lord Seven then but no one knows for sure because we're not there and I don't think we're anywhere close to there because like I said Kawaki doesn't have a karma right now Nishiki's gone so, where does Kawaki get this karma from is kind of interesting. Maybe he develops karma on his own and maybe the karma actually enveloped into him when Ishiki went after the clone and just no one knows. Maybe it's just going by slow. I have no clue. But, um, I guess we'll find out sooner or later. But anyways, this is the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, I'm sorry about the light. I'm trying to finish the setup, but the setup's getting kind of harder to finish up anyways. But at least you guys don't have to see my shorts no more or my legs like I was doing with the, cam with the other camera. But um, with my PlayStation camera, hopefully I can do something better with this camera and uh, iMovie, which is what I've been using is iMovie to record. But anyways, hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did, please smash the like button if you're new to the channel. Like I said, subscribe. If you made it to the end of the video, put hashtag in squad. I always try to say that, say that at uh, every end of the video, but I sometimes I miss and I fail. But um, yeah, I'm really sorry that uh, this video took a little bit to come out with. Um, I was gonna do it yesterday, but I was busy. I well overslept and then ended up going to my cousin to try to get shield because I needed to get Zamazenta and uh, I gave my cousin a shield, my little cousin a shield. I told her I asked if I can borrow for a couple days so I could beat shield so I can get Zamazenta. I'm most likely gonna edit this later on so it's gonna come out later today um, cause I might try to get a little bit of sleep so I don't oversleep again like I've been oversleeping which I'm probably still gonna oversleep cause it's 5.38 a.m. So I'm most likely still gonna oversleep but it be what it be. But anyways, I'll catch you guys next time. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace out. Plague Squad. XP Kage. Out.